The next step now is to extract. So we have now opened a browsing session and the next step now is to extract the data that we want. So that is first of all the profile picture and then the username and the Twitter handle. So when we have gotten down here, we have uh, checked that there hasn't been an error and we have some kind of data. So right now we're going to take that data and so that we can process it in a way that we want to process it, I'm going to convert this data into a string. So I'm going to say let web content is e of type string is equal to, and then we're going to convert this to a string data and this one. So we're going to take our data and then we are going to encode it. And the encoding method that we're going to use is UTF-8, just like that. And then we probably need an exclamation mark, just like that. And of course, it would be handy to do this in an if statement, but we aren't too concerned about that. And we will learn about the error message later. We probably also need a exclamation mark there. No, we don't. Or let's try it. Give it that. And there we go. Okay, awesome. So now we have taken all of the data that we have got and we have converted it into a string. So if we now try to print that out, web content, just so you can see how it looks, we're going to run the application. And in our console log, we should now get a bunch of HTML, which makes up that particular site. And what we're going to do then is we are going to fish out or extract the data that we are interested in. So let's see, I'm going to write one, the Swift guy, search, and here we have all of the data or the HTML code that makes up that profile. And as you will see, if we now head over to Chrome, so we stop that, and we head over to Chrome, and you click on view uh, page source, then we are going to get the exact same HTML that we also have in our uh, log right here. So what we are going to try to find out, so first of all, we're going to focus on the name. So we are going to find out, so we now have a string. We have a string that contains all of this data right here. Now there is a nice function uh, that you can do with strings, so you can separate a string by certain characters. So if we find the characters that are before the data that we want and after the data that we want, then we can take that string, separate it by those characters and then be left with the data that we want in between. And uh, how we do that and, and um, all that good stuff will become clear as we start doing it. So we're going to first of all, uh, first of all find the thing that we want and that is the Swift Okay, so we want this information right here. So we want the name and then we want the Twitter handle. So we now have the string and as you can see before the data that we want, we have a title. Let's copy that and search for it. And there should only be one title and that is indeed the case. And the title is the thing that's displayed up here. So there's only one title. So we can be sure that if we separate by title, we will have be left with the whole part before uh, the Swift guy and the whole part after. So let's try to first of all separate it by our title tag. So we're going to say var array because we're going to get an array as a result of separating them. That's going to contain strings and it's going to be equal to web content dot separated by our title tag. So right now we are left with all this part here as the first element in our array and all of this part as the second element in our array. Now we want to take that second element and we want to again, again split it by this sign right here. So we're going to copy that and we're going to say array and we're going to take the first element or the second element which is one and then we're going to say let's see we're going to say array is equal to array dot the first one dot components separated 
by and then that pipe and then we're going to try to print it out and there was a space before yep so we're also going to add a space so with that we also remove that one and then we're going to say let name just to store it in a variable and make everything a bit cleaner is equal to array and then the first element of that array i'm going to explain this very shortly i'm just going to show you that everything works as we want it to and then i'm going to print out name and now we should be left with only the twitter name and the twitter ha twitter handle when we search for a particular user so let's search for one the swift guy and the reason there's a one before there is because the swift guy was taken and now we should have there we go the swift guy and then the twitter handle which is exactly the information that we want and need so what we are basically doing here if there if everything isn't clear already we take the web content and we transfer it or encode it into a string so that we can do some fancy stuff with it and that fancy stuff is separated by a certain character set or a certain string so first of all we take that string and separate it by title then we take that second element of the array and we separate it by this pipe and then we're left with only this one, the Swift guy and the Twitter handle. The next step is going to be to get the profile picture. So here we say get the name and here we're going to say get the profile picture. Okay, how do we do that? Well, we do it the exact same way. And the easiest way is to just get the um, link to the profile picture so that we can search for it, this in our source. And then we will find what is before and after that image. So as it looks like, we have this one. So data slash result, it looks long and complicated and uh, probably there's probably only one of them on the side. So let's search for it. And there are two and let's see what the other one is because it might be the same information that is in both. Yep, it's the profile picture that is in both. So we're just going to use that and separate it by that one. So we're going to take the exact same approach and we're just going to clear out the array so that we have a nice clean array. Remove because we have already stored it in our name variable. And we're going to say array is equal to web content dot separated components separated by the one we just found which was this long um, string here. And then we set in one of these because as you see now it stops the string right here, but we want this one to be included. So we just set in this character right there, which won't be displayed, but we'll simply say that this one here is part of our string. So don't count it out. And then we are going to take that second element that is that contains some of the information that we want. So we say array the first one and then we're going to say components separated by and then we're going to say what's behind our URL, uh, which is this one right here. So copy that. And then we are going to simply say bam, bam, bam. And the second one also that nice character to say this is in fact our string. But as I said, this will not be included in our string itself. It's, it simply says that this one is part of our string. And then we're going to also store that one in a separate variable. So let profile picture is equal to array and then the first element of that array. And then to just make sure that everything, that we have set up everything correctly, we are going to print that out, profile picture, Let's run it and see what we've got. And let's search for one, the Swift guy. And we should now get a nice URL, which we have right here. And if we copy that and paste it into our browser, we will get a profile picture just as we want it. So now we have two of the elements that we need in order to first of all display the profile picture and second of all display the Twitter name and the Twitter handle. And now we're going to uh, continue with updating our interface 
And the way we do that again is running it on the main thread so that we don't, don't get any error just like we did here. So we're trying to update all of the interface stuff in one place so, so that we don't have to write too many of those dispatch.main.async which as I said simply means we're running this on the main thread just to make sure that we don't get any problems and we say settle self dot my label dot text is equal to name and we are also going to update the profile picture but in order for us to do that we have to open up the URL and then get the data from that URL and then shove that data into our image view so we are going to create a separate function for that that we are going to call right here so we're going to scroll down and I'm going to create it right here function that gets profile picture data so that we can display the profile picture data in our image view which will of course turn up as an image so we're going to say func update image and we are going to get past a URL that is of type string. And the first thing we are going to do is we're going to define our URL, which is our URL made up of a string. And this string is our URL. And then we're going to create the same task. So let task is equal to URL session.shared.data task. And we're going to use this one. And as a result, we're going to get some data. We're going to get some response and we're going to get an error. And then here we are going to paste in the URL that we just defined up here. And then we are going to update. We're actually going to update the profile picture inside this function. So here we're also going to write dispatch q.main.async. And here we're just going to say, see our image view so my image view dot image is equal to ui image and create that from data and our data is data just like that and then of course we have to not forget that we have to say task dot resume in order to start the whole session and then we also need self right here and now we have basically created a function that takes our url so I'm just going to write it out here, update image, and I'm going to pass it the URL, so profile picture. So what we're basically doing here is we have already gotten the URL from doing all of this stuff, and we have stored it in our profile picture uh, variable. And then here we are updating the whole interface. So first of all, we're setting the uh, label to be equal to name. And then we are passing, we are, uh, let's see, we are updating the label, first of all, from the, from this uh, name variable. And then we are creating a function right here that gets a URL and then starts a browsing session with that URL. And then from that session, it takes the data, the response, and maybe an error. And if we have some data, then we are going to run this on the main queue and we're going to set the image views image to be equal to the data that the, that the browsing session got from this URL. And we're just going to delete that one. Okay. And there is a self.update image. Okay. So now we're going to run this application and see what we've got. Okay. So I'm again going to write in one, the Swift, Swift guy going to search and there we go there we have our profile picture and we have the name we could also search for anyone really messy if there is such a use of course it is <laughs> so let's search for it nope there wasn't any okay so that means we have a user that actually doesn't exist so what we are going to do later on is we are going to check if uh, these datas actually are on the site and if there aren't that simply means that there isn't a user that we can access that data from so let's try to search for one that i know exists which is team messy so not just messy but team messy and there we go so the next step now is going to be to also get the tweets and display that in the table view